to get off so that we can go to the ruins of St. Paul's. This is so confusing. can't believe I'm finally here. This is just so cool and seeing the ruins of St. Paul's in front of me is just amazing. This is just so stunning. Wow. because I watched Boys Over Flowers, that was the first Korean drama I ever watched and I really want to go to the place where they filmed in Macau so that's going to be super exciting, that is what I was super excited for this whole trip
We just found a supermarket, so just having a look like always. I just found something really interesting. I found this roasted vegan jerky, which is really interesting. I've never seen this before, so it's pretty cool. We are going to head back now. It's about 4 o'clock now, so I think it'll take about maybe an hour to an hour and a half to get to the ferry and then get the ferry back to Hong Kong Island. So we're gonna leave now. which was just average and so now we're just going to get something to eat for dinner because it's almost 7 o'clock actually so yeah we're going to do that and then probably head back to the hotel and rest and also pack our things because I have a lot to pack I haven't really organized much of my suitcase at all and I'm leaving tomorrow so yeah I'm going to do that yes. small bag? yes okay. uh, from where? over there oh, at yeah. the right corner yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We are back in the hotel now and Courtney is showering at the moment. I am packing my stuff away. We've already had dinner and yeah, I'm getting ready for tomorrow, which is the day we leave and I can't believe how quickly two weeks have flown by. It's just been an amazing two weeks, an incredible experience and something I'm so, so incredibly grateful for. I, I just can't believe this all happened, but I'm super excited to go back home as well. I do miss home. I do miss Melbourne. I miss my family most importantly as well. I can't wait to give everyone a hug. Today in particular was a very, very interesting day in the sense that I was super, super happy to have finally visited Macau. It was one of those things that's always been on my bucket list. And especially since watching Boys Over Flowers, I have always wanted to go to the Venetian, just to have a look and experience it myself. And I can't believe I finally did it today so I'm very, very happy and grateful as well and yeah it was also interesting in the sense that it wasn't completely how I thought the trip would be today because Courtney and I got lost we got confused quite a bit as well and I think practicing mindfulness and patience really did come into good use today because we really needed to be extra patient today I just love to reflect and learn things from everyday things yeah <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to continue packing and it is currently, it is almost 9pm so I'm going to shower soon and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. is our very last morning here in Hong Kong and I can't believe it time has just flown by but anyways I thought that I'd give you guys a quick room tour of our hotel because I really really like this hotel do you like it Court? Yeah it's so nice it's cozy. <laughs> yeah it's really cozy and because we're on a budget as travelers we weren't really looking at staying in hotels in the first place but this place was actually quite affordable so we chose this place and I love it so I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Alright so this is a door and when you come in this is the view that you get so this is the bed and it's basically all that's in this room and the windows I really like because they come on an angle and so we have a little table here with chairs and we get a view here and the weather is really nice today we actually have blue sky so it's a really nice view and then turning back I was sleeping on this side we have our suitcases there we also have a TV we have some coat hangers over here we also have a little fridge here a safe and just some bench space and over here is the bathroom it's really cute as well so inside we have a very very big mirror there I am and then we have another mirror here our sink the toilet towels and that is the shower and that is basically it for this room as I said it's really really cute and cozy and we really enjoyed staying in here so it's almost about time to check out Courtney is gonna leave for the airport first I'm gonna hang around in the Mong Kok area because my flight is quite late this evening bye bye this is a bit heavy morning, morning. Yeah. yes bye bye, bye, -bye. bye. <laughs> and this is the hotel lobby reception. Last morning. Thank you, Courtney. 
thank you for traveling with me. Yeah, thank you for traveling with me too. We really, really enjoyed it. It was a really good two weeks. Yeah, we learned a lot about each country and about each other as well, definitely. And yeah, just really, really enjoyed it. So Courtney is an amazing travel buddy. And if you wanna, oh, thank you. And if you wanna follow her travel journey, she has an Instagram account. She does photography, so I'll leave it in the description box below. <laughs> So Courtney just left and it's just me now so I'm just gonna hang around in the Mong Kok area, walk around, see if there's any shops open, window browse and yeah just enjoy the last morning here in Hong Kong. So it's very colourful and looks like a rainbow and I also have a sauce here as well so I am very excited. I'm quite hungry as well so I'm gonna fuel up before the plane ride. By the way the weather here is really really nice today. Sun is out, it's blue sky, it's just really nice. Also just before I forget I wanted to quickly show you guys I got some last minute things from Nature Republic here and so I just got this Pure Shine Natural Cushion which I've been using since I went to Korea. When I went to Korea I got it for the first time and I really liked it and I've run out so I decided to get this again and I also got this lip colour because it was on sale. I also got this lip tint for my mum. She really likes this reddish orange colour. So I also just found this granola here and I've never had this before but it looks super super yummy so I'm going to take this as my airport snack and I also am going to get this juice as well. missed my flight and honestly I am handling this a lot better than I thought I'm not stressed I'm not frustrated it's 2 30 a.m. and I'm not even tired for some reason I found myself a spot to sit and there are people around me who are sleeping so I'm gonna try to be quiet but basically my flight from Singapore sorry from Hong Kong to Singapore was delayed due to an accident at Changi Airport and so I missed my connecting flight from Singapore to Melbourne so I waited in the queue for about an hour and a half here at Singapore Airport to just get my flights rebooked so um, yeah I arrived at around 12 a.m. and got my flights rebooked at around 2 30 and now I am just going to rest so what's gonna happen is in the morning I have a flight from Singapore to Perth and then from Perth I'm gonna change to Melbourne so I should be back in Melbourne around 9 30 p.m. tomorrow which is 12 hours later than what I was expecting 
it's okay there's nothing to worry about I'm actually pretty excited I've never been to Perth before I know it's only a stopover but it's pretty cool so yeah that is what's gonna happen usually when these things happen Singapore Airlines will give you a free night's hotel stay and they'll compensate you for everything like that but all the hotels are booked out so I'm just gonna camp out here in the airport but at least I still got a $15 breakfast voucher so I can get some free food so I'm not complaining there and I'm lucky that I got my flights rebooked and I'm not gonna be stuck here at least I know where I'm going